Hello, and welcome to our Directus video tutorial series. My name is Ben Haynes, project lead here at Directus, and today we're going to be covering the different types of extensions available within the platform. Okay, let's kick this off with modules. Modules are the highest level of organization within the app. They are completely open-ended. Each one has a navigation, which you can see here, allowing you to browse the different pages that are registered within the module. Modules have complete control over everything we're seeing here, so they're ideal for creating new dashboards, point of sale, uh, pretty much anything. Next up we have layouts, which allow us to browse or visualize collection data. Here we see the default table view. We also have a card view for image data. And there are also map and calendar layouts available out of the box. Users can easily switch between these layouts to browse or visualize data in different ways and layouts can define any number of options that allow users to configure them from within the app. For example, here we can switch the image field that we want to use for these cards. Moving a little deeper, we have interfaces, which are how we manage or visualize field values within the app. On this page, we can see a few simple examples of interfaces. At the top, we have a dropdown for status, and then we have two text inputs, a text area, and some image interfaces. However, the sky's the limit here. You can really get very complicated with relational interfaces, uh, read-only charts, etc. Next, we have displays, or inline representations of field values. For example, color badges, user avatars, tags, date formatting, anything that enhances the display of a raw or relational value. They're most often used for page titles, layouts, anywhere we're referencing items in the app such as this relational interface. Now switching from the app to the API, first we have custom API endpoints. Just as the name suggests, these are custom routes that you can register for extending the base API. Routes can be nested and they're completely open-ended. API hooks by comparison enable custom event triggered logic. For example, every time an article is updated, run this code. Directus has a comprehensive list of these trigger events, many of which support a blocking option that allows you to check, modify, and even cancel the action. Similar to event hooks, webhooks are also triggered by events, but they simply push out data via an HTTP request to a custom URL. They're great for connecting external third-party services, such as static site generators. Locales, while not technically an extension, offer a way to translate the app's internal labels and text into any number of different languages. CSS overrides are a configuration, but can act as a sort of theme extension, allowing you to tailor system variables for color, font, and general UI styling. Some other configurations, such as auth providers, storage adapters, and data sources, may not be formal extension types as of now, but we're already looking to open those up in the near future. Our goal with Directus is to keep the core code base clean and organized by having all key components be modular and extensible. This allows you to get started with Directus knowing that you won't hit a hard feature ceiling down the road, regardless of project complexity or scale. That's all for this video on Directus extension types. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for watching.